I hope you're doing well and welcome back to the channel. And hi, if you're new, I'm glad you're here. This is gonna be a full of information video. It is currently 6.35 p.m. Ooh. And I'm getting ready to go to work. So this video is going to be a more in-depth look of, I'd say the not so talked about side of being cabin crew. What I mean by that is that a lot of crew or flight attendants all over the world do exactly what I do, film their life, put it on the internet and people love it and they desire it and they want to be crew. But what people don't see and what you will see today is the bad side of it, of I'm going to work and it's, I'm getting picked up at 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. I'm getting picked up and I'm not going to land until 6 a.m. and then I'm going to get home at like half eight. So that's just a quick time scale for you. I will obviously break it down as the day goes on or the night goes on. So since I get a lot of messages from people that are younger and that saying that they want to be crew and that's what they want to do in their life and it's a dream, I don't want to sell you a dream. I want you to realise that I obviously get the nice layovers and I get to see the world and it's all sunshine and rainbows but then there also is this side of it which is not sunshine and rainbows because Nobody should be awake at the time I'm going to be awake. And you will see me degrade through this video. <laughs> it's not going to be a full negative video. I'm not going to turn, turn you away from it. I just want you to realise the truth is both sides of the story. Does that makes sense? I hope that makes sense. So let me tell you about the day ahead of how I prepped for this fight. So I woke up pretty late, which is my bad. Didn't plan to wake up so late, but it was fine in the end. So I woke up, I had my breakfast, I then packed my bag, so I ironed my uniform, made sure it was all clean, ready to go, had that laid out, ready. Then I ended up getting into bed at like 3pm to try and have a nap. Nobody tries to nap at 3 o'clock. If you fall asleep in the afternoon, that is because you're tired. But if you try and nap, it never works. So I ended up having like an hour's sleep, which is okay. Woke up about quarter to six I set my alarm. I'm ready now and it's 6.35. I'm getting picked up in 25 minutes and it should take about 40 minutes for me to get to the airport of where we work. I will say with the airline I work for we don't go to the airport we have a separate building which is right next to it. If you've ever been to Dubai airport you'll see it. You have the massive airport and then there's a building literally just across the road and that's where we go. Uh, that's where like head offices, that's where all the important people go to work in there and then we just go underground to get to the airport. That's where I'm gonna go. I will obviously break down the night as much as I can. I will say now I am not going to get myself in trouble by filming in work. You will see the before and the after, however I will not film during work because that they have a big no-no against that and I am not putting myself in the firing line. Not the firing line but the it's a phrase. <laughs> yes, because I'm going to put it on the internet, I know what I'm allowed to talk about, what I'm allowed to show. Don't try to be sneaky, people. I'm already covered. That is where we're up to today. I then have two days off when I get back, so hopefully... Jet lag's the wrong word. It's more lack of sleep. Lack of sleep will get you when you land at 6am. I'm ready. I'm just going to go finish my cup of tea. I am English, so I want to go finish my cup of tea and mentally prepare myself to go to work. I just need to go and speak to the family before I go. I do always tell them where I'm going and what time I'll get back. God forbid anything ever happens, they know what flight I'm on because I don't have any communication with them from when I step into work to when I basically am on the way home because it's just go, 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 go. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tell you about the, the pre-flight stuff now because I probably won't get to show you it. No, I'll be able to show you it, I won't be able to talk to you through it. Yeah, so what'll happen is I'll get to work and when my check-in opens, it's really hard to explain because I talk about it like everybody knows what I'm on about. But if you need clarification of anything I say, just comment below and if there's, I'll answer, but if there's a lot of it, I'll do a more in-depth video of terms and terminology and stuff like that. So yeah, we get to our headquarters and we have our own immigration people, so we go through check-in there. I then go through 
the same security systems as normal airports. We have like full body scanners, your bags go through the scanners, and then you go to a briefing. The briefing is, I think it's around 40 minutes maximum from when check-in opens to when you have to leave. The briefing itself is like 20 minutes, I think. I could be way off with my timings. I'll check today. You go to the briefing, the supervisor or the purser will check your passport, your UAE visa, and at the minute they check your COVID vaccines and they have other vaccines that they need to check and the main one is yellow fever. I know that. But they check all the expiry dates of the other ones that we have to have and they check your ID the work ID to make sure that's in date. So once everyone's checked with that, they then tell us about the flight. So for instance, I'm in business, so they will tell us about any specific passengers that are in business class, any complaints they've had in the past, or what the service will be, how the service will go, how they work. So just so we can kind of get a taste for each other because on each flight that the company I work for does, 99% of the time it's new crew. So you never fly with the same crew twice, which is kind of crazy, but it's also really good because you're constantly meeting new people. But it's also really hard because every flight you have to learn and adjust new people and new people's working ways and skills and yeah. So that's a, that's a, a love-hate thing as well. They'll do that and then once that's done, the flight deck will come in. So the captain and the first officer, they'll tell us how fast we're going to fly, how high we're going to fly and how long the flight will be. And then we leave and then we go to the airplane and then once we get to the airplane we get on board we pack our stuff away and do security search safety checks equipment checks make sure everything's working like the seats and the screens and the acs and stuff the chillers are working the food's all there this is all spread out between crew so not one every single person will do security and safety and equipment and then the cabin checks and the galley checks to like split up. Depends on where you're working. I've got a lot going around my head right now trying to explain this in the best way I know how to. So yeah, that'll happen. And then once all that's done and boarding is ready to go and the airport says they can go, then passengers get on board and we go. Oh, that's where I'm gonna leave you. And then I will explain the rest after we land when I get back later. We'll see how alive I am. See if I still look this fresh. I don't think I will. Let's get this show on the road. Let's go to work. And let's hope it's going to be a very fast night. Please. Please. I want it to go very fast. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright
Well, hi. It's currently 7.48 in the morning. I've just got in and it's time to take this crusty makeup off. It's so crusty. I don't know why or what happened, but yeah. It's not in a good way. <laughs> Thought we'd do it together. The flight was actually surprisingly really nice. The crew were amazing, which definitely helps the flight be nice. Um, that's probably not the best English. <laughs> yeah, so the crew were really nice. We got on, worked really well together. So that was good. The passengers were passengers. There's not much special to say about them. It was full. Oh, we was on the A380. I don't know if I mentioned that before. And it was full both ways, which is okay. It was two and a half going, two and a half coming back. And we was on ground for about two and a half hours. That's pretty much everything you need to know about that. Let's run you through what happens after, or during a flight actually. Should we just run you through the whole thing? So before we got up to get into the aircraft after the briefing, and then after that you obviously do your flight. The flight consists of doing a service, making sure everything's okay, everyone's okay, service is going well, no problems, no problem people, all that stuff. Uh, get there, get on ground, everyone gets off, cleaners come on, clean the plane. That's our like five minutes to sit down and have something to eat. And then we start again. And then we load up with new people. I'm sorry, this is gonna look really disgusting, but I need to get off. Um, so we load up the plane with all new passengers and then we do the exact same thing on the way back. So then we land into Dubai and passengers get off and that is home time for me. So we get off, well, we first have to do some duties to be fair. We have to collect all the unused stuff like headsets, blankets, that type of stuff. I don't know if any other airline has to do that, I don't understand how they work. That would be interesting to know actually. So yeah, we collect everything and then we get on a bus, go to headquarters again, where we go through a passport control. Like I was saying before, we have our own building which does all that. So you go through there, immigration your way out, go through another body scanner, and then you're free. And that normally all takes from the time you land, if everything goes well, about an hour. And then for me, I live approximately 45 minutes away from the airport on a good day. And today was not a good day because the schools are in and it's the worst time to be driving around. <laughs> so I got home a little bit later than I was expecting. So now I'm here, I'm taking my makeup off and I'm going to hopefully get into bed in the next 15 minutes. What I normally do when I get in is I'll take my makeup off quite fast. I don't do my full skincare to be fair. I literally just use micellar water and some cotton pads. I do this and then later on when I wake up I'll have a full on scrub down. Uh, use my face cleanser and all the toners and stuff that I'm trying to use these days. Look after my skin more. Oh gosh, that feels so good. Um, what I do put on right now is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. I swear by this. I picked it up on a whim and I love it. Especially because it's so hydrating. It's so good. Right, so let's pin this bit away from me because it's already annoying me. Pin that up. Ow. I've got loads of cuts on my fingers and it's so sore. And then we just get this and dollop it on. I use this morning, noon and night. So when people ask me for a skincare routine, I'll literally just send it. Right. Let's get that in. I will eventually do a full skincare routine. I don't really particularly want to do it because it's quite sad, but 
a lot of people ask because people are interested <laughs> but yeah a lot of people ask about my skincare routine so I will eventually do a video on it so let's get you off the stand and get into bed because I'm done I'm done that's me done I'm tucked up in bed I'm done for the day I'm tapping out calling quits I do have my alarm set for 1.45 though because today is the Queen's funeral and I would like to witness and watch it so it works out quite well that I had my flight because I get to watch the funeral and I get to watch history happen which is always interesting so yeah I think that's gonna be it I hope you have enjoyed I hope it wasn't too down I just want to put the real life of it as well like it's currently nearly 8 a.m. and I'm just getting into bed yes I hope you have enjoyed do like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one I lose my brain